Last shot wasn't the best, but <coughs> it's getting hard to not cough my head off here. I hadn't really ever, uh, I hadn't, what am I trying to say, videoed my new shot process and <coughs> what I'm doing and stuff like that. It's been a long while. But like I've probably been sick for the last two months. I started out with a pretty bad head cold right after I shot my buck in October, October 23rd. And I kept that cold for four weeks. Never got tested or anything because that's not what I don't really think that was COVID. And just as soon as I was better from that, uh, I started getting the body aches and chills um, last Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, and been fighting this Rona ever since. So I've been trying to come out here and stay active, and uh, still shoot some, and just stay active, trying to get this stuff moving along so I'll do a couple of shots for you on camera I haven't done that in a while you got Lancaster coming up so I uh I've not shot the tab seer probably it's probably been a good I don't know a couple weeks maybe four weeks so I'm um, I'm getting the, uh, the the feel of the release still down with that and between that and being sick it's just been a struggle so these are probably not going to look the best but they're where I'm at right now. See that? <laughs> I am so weak. <laughs> so weak. crazy how bad the mental game will suffer when the body doesn't feel well. That's better. That's better. I mean, of course I'm trying to hit the center, but Right now, I'm just looking for consistency in the grouping of the arrows. How forgiving they are if I'm 
hitting more low, high, left or right. And uh, so far, I'm finding that if I do uh, hit anywhere, it's more of a low impact right now. So I'm really having to concentrate on keeping my tip of my arrow where it needs to be and really focusing on form and uh, shot execution. All right, there's three shots. I'll take you down there and show them to you. They're all right. It's somewhere around the bottom of the gold. It takes me a it takes me a three or four ends to get warmed up. But once I get warmed up, I'm all right usually. So there's my three. Got two nines and a eight there. But uh, so yeah, for a nine sear shot, I pretty pretty pleased with it breaking pretty clean the only problems I'm having right now are are just little bits of anticipation of when my shots gonna break and stuff like that but normally I can feel that coming and uh, and hold on to it So, what I'm concentrating on right now mostly in the shot process is just a really good balanced shot. Um, I find myself sometimes really tipping forward if I don't pay attention and make sure the base is real solid. That wasn't a really good shot right there, to be honest with you. Went a little low out, but I gave a little I gave up a little bit on that shot. I didn't didn't finish it strong. There we go. That was a perfect X ring strong execution. Everything felt great on that shot. Shoot this last shot and I'll go over my setup with you. Felt pretty decent. Take you down there, and I'll come back and show you my setup. I'm gonna show you this flubbed first shot down here. Oh, it was bad. I think it's a blue or no, it's not as bad as I thought. It's an eight. <laughs> uh -huh. I really thought that was down there in the blue. That's an eight, and I got two tens, X and ten. All right, arrows. I'm gonna go. Go over my setup that I'm testing out right now. Of course, I got a Yoast old brassy tab. Cannot not have that. All right, so the limbs I'm shooting are MKZ mediums. These are turning out to be roughly about 34 pounds at my draw I am shooting them on a 29 inch WF XO riser 
with sniper rest and a biter plunger and an R core grip. The arrows are Victory 3D HV 600 spines. Now these are nipped a little bit, I think the arrow shaft. Carbon to carbon, somewhere around 30 inches, 29 and a half, 30 inches. And I am shooting 150 grain points in them with 60 millimeter high XS wings with biter knocks and the victory knock bushings. Um, really nice air setup. It's looking like it's coming out really consistent. So even on my not so great shots, they are grouping pretty well. Um, I never thought I would be in a 29 inch riser. Uh, my draw length is barely 27 on a good day. But the new design of the WFs seem to lend to being able to accept shorter draw lengths and doing pretty decent with it. So I'm drying it out. Um, so far so good, I'm really liking it. It feels good, it's really comfortable. The, uh, the after report of the shot is really smooth. It doesn't really jar your shoulder um, like some of the WFs in the past. Um, so I'm gonna give it a whirl for Lancaster, see how we do with it. So I'm shooting a 72 inch setup, which is something I never thought I'd do, but we're, you know, what do you do? You gotta test some stuff out, so. Anyway, that's my, uh, that's my setup. I'm gonna get off here and shut up and uh, save some breath but y'all yeah, wish us luck we'll try to keep you informed about how things are progressing and we'll talk to you later y'all shoot straight god bless